Trinity B1 ISC1 Four Skills Test CELT Secure English Language Tests B1 English Test ISC1 Skilled Worker Health and Care Worker Scale-Up Worker Student Visas First of all, if I would choose a topic for you that is normally chosen by my students, either you can go for my family or you can go for hobbies. Which one do you want to choose? I have my family. Okay, let's go with my family. Okay, now first tell me what do you enjoy doing with your family? Do you like traveling with your family? Yes, traveling. And about my kids. Traveling with my family. Next. And my kids. Not like this. If you want to pass, talk more about activities. That would be nicer if you can talk more about activities. Do you like um, eating out with family? Like going yes. out, eating out? Yes. Okay, let's eating try. out with family. Eating out with family. With family, okay. And do you like to watch TV with family or not? Watching TV? Yes, no? watching TV. It would be good, yeah, it's okay. Watching TV with family. More. Uh, what else do you like with your family? Do you like to um, go shopping with your family? Shopping with family? Do you have any other topics? I have other topics. For example, we can go for traveling is done. Watching TV is done. Do you want to do playing sports with family or not? Like playing sports? No. no? Is, it would be, is it possible to be uh, having fun on festival? Mm, having fun with festivals. festivals. Or occasion? with family I want you, you to can choose which one is it I would go for either watching TV do you like to watch films with family yes so watching films and watching TV is the same so watching Netflix that's the same we have to pick up a broader topic than this mm. I don't know if you like to listen to music with your family. Playing, just playing. Uh, do you like to listen to music or anything like it? Music, video games. And it would be watching sports. Watching sports with family. That also comes in watching TV with family. Any other point? Eating out. Do you like to buy gifts for your family or not? Yes. Buying gifts for family. Do you like it or do you still want to change this point? Buying gifts for family? Uh, I have confidence. I can talk with any you, topic. You but choose. You, know which one you, choose. you can choose. Yes, it's okay. Buying gift for family. If you have anything else on your mind, you can tell me. I mean, I. it would be nicer. Would you Really, you have kids as well. What do you enjoy? Do you like playing with children? It would be buying gift for my wife. Then it's family, right? Then see what what is the reason? <laughs> what is the reason, right? Why I'm picking bigger topics? Then examiner has a whole range to ask you very basic questions. We are not really giving a examiner a very small thing. We are giving the uh, examiner a very big topic, and examiner will just ask you, okay, where do you like to go? What do you like to do? So activities examiner cannot ask you difficult questions, all right? Okay. So buying gifts for family. Yeah. Okay, so are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. This is Trinity College London ISC1. My name's Angelina. What's your name? Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Raihan Masood. Okay, where are you from? Um, I'm from Bangladesh, but I'm currently I'm living in UK. Mm -hmm. Okay, could you tell me about your topic's title for today? Uh, 
The topic title for today is my family. What are your four topic points? My topic points is traveling with family, eating out with family, watching TV with family, buying gifts for family. Okay, what kinds of gifts do you like to buy for your family? Actually, I like to buy gifts for family, it's many things, but specifically, I would say uh, I like to buy clothes for my parents and and jewelry for my sisters, uh, also my wife, also for my wife, and I would uh, like to buy as clothes for my brothers as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and others gift okay what kind of gifts do you like to buy on special occasions for your family and i can say on a special occasion as a eat day you know and it's uh, two times in a year we have so special as a special clothes i you know punjabi our traditional clothes in bangladesh so i buy punjabi for my brothers and my father's and you know it's called shari for my mom and for my sister and wife the so occasional mm -hmm. clothes for the festival traditional traditional okay traditional clothes all right so where do you like to eat out with your family uh most of time uh I eat with my family in our home, but sometimes I go out with my family, having fun and eating out at the restaurant. Our neighborhood, we have restaurants, so many restaurants in our cities. Mm -hmm. Did you share an experience when you recently ate out with your family? Uh, I went with my family. Uh, I went out with the on a occasion, it's birthday occasion, it's my cousin's birthday, we were going to the, there and we ate together and food was delicious and we enjoyed a lot the dishes. So it was a great time with my family. I enjoyed a lot. What kind of TV programs do you like to watch with your family? Uh, especially, uh, I like to watch a uh, game the football and tennis with my family when when the game on uh, we watch together my mother my father all of my family we watch together the football match okay do you think some shows are not family friendly sorry do you think some shows are not family friendly some sorry do you think some shows are not family friendly? Like you can't watch them with your other members of the family. Maybe they are adult shows or or maybe horror shows. Yeah, yeah I think. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I think some of shows hmm. not what with family because which is adult, adult movie. I don't prefer to watch with my family, with my mom and sisters. So... Do you like to watch news with your family? Yes, of course. I watch news with my family, my father. Actually, my father is very interested to watch uh, news. But when we watch other program, he came to watch the news. I want to change the channel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I enjoy it, my father, and to watch the situation of countries. We can watch uh, international mm -hmm. news on TV. I really enjoy it with my father, especially. Mm -hmm. Okay, so could you tell me about a place where you like to travel with your family? Uh, you know, I would like to go with my family. I would, I would like to travel with my family to the seaside and the natal place. So we can swim there. Mm -hmm. So we can by having fun there and eating there. So we can spend a quality time there with my family. I actually, I am, I like to travel with my family on seaside. Okay. And how often do you like to travel with your family? Uh, I actually, uh, traveling is my hobbies, one of my hobbies. Hmm. So I travel a lot of country already. Hmm. And I like, uh, um, 
one, uh, once in two months. Mm. I'm prepared to go because of my work. I can go once in a month, so I prepared to go once in a two months with my family. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, all right. Thank you, thank you so much. This is the end of part one. Okay, now yes, part two. This is the conversation part. Examiner can pick any topic, so I'm going to choose the topic. Your favorite weather. So could you please tell me what's your favorite weather? Uh, my favorite weather is uh, summer. Oh, summer, sorry. Is, summer is not a weather. Weather, like you, if I ask you how's the weather today, you'll tell me that uh, it's sunny. sunny or rainy or windy or cloudy. Yes, yeah. so sorry. I like, I like sunny weather. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, okay, all right. So what do you do on a sunny day? So I go out, I can wear short clothes and comfortable clothes. I can do fashion, I can do style. So I go out with my family for playing or traveling on summer on sunny days. I really enjoy the sunny days. Okay. So do you think that evenings in summer are different from evenings in the winter? If yes, in what way? Yes, it's different because and at evening in summer we can go out often but in winter we can't go like summer because we have to we we have to wear heavy clothes for the cold and it's uh, if you go out in the evenings it's get too cold so you can go, can't go often in winter Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, I would want you to ask me two questions about my favorite weather you ask me. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, what is your favorite weather? Uh, well, I really like sunny days. I like sunny weather. Uh, what do you like to do on sunny days? Just like to read something interesting or maybe go out for a while, go for a walk. On a sunny day. Thank you. Thank you. This is the end of the test, and you have passed. Congratulations. Thank you. Good job. You can pass this test. Uh, speaking at least. Now let's quickly have a look at the listening part, and then I will introduce you to um, what do you call it? Writing and reading. Because I don't know if you are into reading or writing. Have you been reading and writing something? Or not? Yeah, uh, I um, I saw on this side, Trinity side, some writing and reading passages. You have done that passed. before. You have done that before. No, I didn't get time to do it, so I was confused. So mm -hmm. I watched your, I watched your, one videos. It was maybe filling the gap, gap mm -hmm. filling the video. I I saw it. That's one. Okay, I'm going to play a recording about Burlington, Burlington Arcade. Okay, I'll play twice. You get your notebook and your pen. I one minute, please. One. Yes, go get it. Please, one second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holding on. I didn't buy a notebook. I think it's too. Any paper, any random paper, any pen. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Once you're ready to let me know. Yeah, I'm ready. All right. I'm going to play a recording about Burlington Arcade. You will listen to the recording twice. You may take your notes. And after listening to the recording, I am going to ask you six questions about the recording. Let's listen. ISC 1, task 1. The oldest shopping centre in London is the Burlington Arcade. It's a narrow street with a roof and small shops on either side. The shops sell mainly expensive things such as handmade shoes and jewellery. A very rich man built it in 1819. He wanted to build a shopping street next to his large house because people were throwing rubbish into his garden. But this soon stopped them. It's very quiet and peaceful in the arcade 
and this is because there are some very strange rules. For example, you can't carry large objects, play a musical instrument, run or sing. Also, you can't open an umbrella. The Beatles, who are a kind of private police force, walk up and down the arcade. They have to wear long coats and tall black hats. If you break the rules, the Beatles can make you go outside. You need a lot of money to shop in the arcade. Four million visitors come to the arcade every year, but most of them don't buy anything. They just like to look around and have a quiet break. Now listen again. All right. Listen again, please. The oldest yes. shopping centre in London is the Burlington Arcade. It's a narrow street with a roof and small shops on either side. The shops sell mainly expensive things, such as handmade shoes and jewellery. A very rich man built it in 1819. He wanted to build a shopping street next to his large house because people were throwing rubbish into his garden. But this soon stopped them. It's very quiet and peaceful in the arcade, and this is because there are some very strange rules. For example, you can't carry large objects, play a musical instrument, run or sing. Also, you can't open an umbrella. The Beatles, who are a kind of private police force, walk up and down the arcade. They have to wear long coats and tall black hats. If you break the rules, the Beatles can make you go outside. You need a lot of money to shop in the arcade. Four million visitors come to the arcade every year, but most of them don't buy anything. They just like to look around and have a quiet break. Yes? All right, now I'm going to ask you some questions about the Burlington Arcade. Yes? Hold on. All right, so my first question to you is, what can you buy in the Burlington Arcade? And uh, we can buy umbrella. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. No. Okay, that's incorrect. What can you buy in the Burlington Arcade is expensive things like shoes and jewelry. Okay. When was the Burlington Arcade built? And 1890. Tell me the number, please. 18? One eight nine zero. Oh. That is incorrect. Nineteen nineteen one nine eighteen nineteen. Eighteen nineteen. Oh, sorry. Okay. All right. Okay. Why did the rich man build the Burlington Arcade? Hmm. 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 Sorry. No worries, no no problem. It's your first try. People were throwing rubbish into his garden. Next. Yeah. What is one of the rules of the arcade? Um, we can't take umbrella. Good. This is okay. What happens if you break a rule in the Burlington Arcade? Um... Uh, sorry? You have to go outside if you break a rule in the Burlington Arcade. Next one. How many people visit the Burlington Arcade every year? Four million visitors. That is correct. Okay, so listening is below, right? B1 right now. Yeah. I hope so. I hope so. With practice, you can get there. No worries. Now let's move to the next part of the test. This is also listening. Now you're not allowed to take any notes. You will listen to a recording and tell me in few words what is this recording about? I am going to play a recording about Bhutan, all right? You will listen to it and then not take any notes and tell me in few words yeah. what is this recording about. Let's listen. Okay. ISC 1, Task 2. 
Today we're going to learn about a country called Bhutan. Only about 800,000 people live in Bhutan, but amazingly, those people speak 24 different languages. What about the environment? About 72% of the country is forest. The government has made a lot of laws to protect animals. The people in Bhutan are not allowed to use plastic bags. Many of the cars in the country are electric. There's an unusual thing about the capital of Bhutan. It doesn't have any traffic lights. Instead, policemen show drivers when to stop. These policemen have to wear special white gloves to do this. What about the people? If you go to Bhutan, you can see people wearing traditional dress. And here's another interesting thing. Every year, the government asks the people about their happiness. This is because they think happiness is more important than money. So, do you want to visit Bhutan? Today, we're going to learn about a country. Yes, could you please tell me in few words what is this recording about? And it's about uh, traveling to Bhutan. So, we can take a plastic bag. So, another one is they have. Sorry, <laughs> I'm nervous. It's okay, but if for this part, just say one to two lines, okay? This is about the country Bhutan and traveling to Bhutan. That's all. Don't try to say so much because examiner demands only few words. The main idea of the paragraph. That is all. How many words? Few words, one to two sentences. That's all. Few. Few means just few words, little words, some. More than one. Not more than one. Like few words means like one sentence, let's say, or two sentences. Okay. Sentence, you know, right? One complete sentence. This recording yeah, okay. is about Bhutan, or this recording is about traveling to Bhutan, right? And uh, why Bhutan is special, you know, because there are many special things that they mentioned in there. So that's why. Now listen to the recording again and write down six important facts from the recording and then I will ask you to tell me those facts. Okay. Happiness is more important. Today we're going to learn about a country called Bhutan. Only about 800,000 people Take notes. You're allowed to take notes. Six. Yeah. Okay. This is because they think happiness is more important. Today, we're going to learn about a country called Bhutan. Only about 800,000 people live in Bhutan. But amazingly, those people speak 24 different languages. What about the environment? About 72% of the country is forest. The government has made a lot of laws to protect animals. The people in Bhutan are not allowed to use plastic bags. Many of the cars in the country are electric. There's an unusual thing about the capital of Bhutan. It doesn't have any traffic lights. Instead, policemen show drivers when to stop. These policemen have to wear special white gloves to do this. What about the people? If you go to Bhutan, you can see people wearing traditional dress. And here's another interesting thing. Every year, the government asks the people about their happiness. This is because they think happiness is more important than money. So, do you want to visit Bhutan? All right, so could you please tell me in few words, what is this recording about? And uh, there is eight, uh, there are 800, uh, 800 people. Mm. And uh, mm. there, uh, there is no traffic light. Mm. And uh, there were traditional clothes. Mm. And there is a 72% forest. Mm. And another thing is, and 24. Mm -hmm. So you what was that? Mm -hmm. 
how many I told you? You told me quite a few, but let's try. But there were quite a few of them were wrong. Okay, so how many people live in Bhutan? Uh, one hundred thousand. Oh, sorry, eight hundred thousand. How much of Bhutan is forest? And uh, seventy-two percent. Good. What kind of bags are not allowed in Bhutan? Plastic bag. What do the policemen wear? Traditional clothes. White gloves. What is special about the cars in Bhutan? Uh, there is no traffic light. Electric cars. Electric cars, yeah. What does the government ask its people about every year? Sorry. What does the government ask its people about every year? The government asks about the happiness of people because it is important. Yes. So okay. if I keep practice, I can yeah, improve. Yeah, so yeah. Do it. Do it. It's not hard for you. You can do this. Okay, now, any confusion about speaking and listening pattern? I don't think so. You are confused about it. No, I'm not confused. Okay, now I'm going it. to tell you about reading and writing. Look, I know spelling is a problem. I know everything is a problem. But for ISC B1, you can pass, okay? Because I can help you out. I know how to make people pass in reading and writing at least, okay? No matter how bad you are, there is a way to get you where you want to be, right? Uh, yeah. Should not be afraid that, okay, if you don't know how to write and stuff or you don't know how to read and all, so don't worry about that. Okay, so reading looks kind of like this. I'm sure you might have had a look at the paper by yourself also. It has two tasks for reading. Long text reading. That carries, which paragraph carries the information? And then we have true, false statements. And then we have fill in the blanks. After that, we have multi-text reading. The, te the text looks funny. Okay, there's a lot going on. Don't worry, this could be done. Yeah, so. Okay, then we have, this is the easiest part. Once you will learn task three, you will say 75% of your exam is ready. Last one is this one. Is it possible that you can just quickly write down this question for me? Like any hundred words you could write for me so that I could have an idea. Where do you stand? Uh, this photo, can you take a photo of this and you write it? On paper. You write it on paper, take a photo on set. Okay. Can I take a photo? Do you want me to take a photo for you? I can take a photo and send you on WhatsApp. Thank you. Okay, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.